What does it mean that we're doing this here at Oberlin at this time for both of you? Um, for you, it's returning to a place that was important in another time in your life, and I know that's true for you too, Justin. So what does it mean to be doing it here and now? Mm -hmm. um, in, you know, in a very real sense, doing it here at Oberlin allows uh, me to really pursue my vision to the fullest, the, the, the specific vision for this production to the fullest, um, and also as a natural fit as far as bringing the personnel together that I have envisioned working on the, the piece and the personnel of the people who've inspired me and led me to this moment in my life where I can see the vision clearly enough. Um, you know, it, it is really a, an honor and a blessing to be able to work with the, on the production with you, who I have to mention is, was my mentor as an undergraduate here, you know. And then to also be able to work with Avery, who has been a mentor of mine, you know, in my life and professional career for the past uh, 12 plus years. So at one level, as you mentioned, Hoberlin has, has been, um, uh, is what we have in common you know, and it has been a, a lot of the, has been the catalyst for me in my life, and I think, you know, perhaps for us all in some way, has been the catalyst for uh, shaping uh, our, our vision on, of, of how we pursue our, our professional work. Um, so in that sense, and then at another level though, it makes a lot of sense just because of this environment, being in an educational and an academic environment is very different than being in an equity uh, Lord theater system, you know, where it, it is really, you're forced to be driven by commercial mm -hmm. um, pursuit, you know. Uh, here in the, in, the, uh, in the institution, we, we really are afforded an opportunity to ask academic questions of the text and, and really see how, how they apply um, in, you know, kind of in, in motion, so to speak. Right. So in Arthur Miller has a, a wonderful quote, you know, that, that you kind of put me on to about, you know, the, the, the great potential of theater in the institution and what can be accomplished by that. Um, so I, I think that that in a lot of ways, universities are poised to be, I don't want to say necessarily a launching pad, but again, going back to that word of, of, of a catalyst for artistic uh, thought, intellectual thought, that should go out beyond the walls of the institution and really impact the nation and impact the world that, you know, this production may or may not do, but Oberlin, these uh, you know, wonderful institutions are set up to do that. Mm -hmm. Avery, what does it mean to be here doing this? Well, it's this homecoming thing always, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, um, and actually for the young man. <laughs> um, that's, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. I mean, were it not Justin, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we should note that you have performed here. You've performed Paul Robes in here I twice. I did Paul Robes in here twice. Which has been a gift to the community. But yeah. um, this is probably the first time you've ever been in rehearsal doing something here since your time, That's your right. original time here. That's right. And it, it reminds me. <laughs> and I had to work on him. <laughs> I've been working on him for about a year. <laughs> He's at Oberlin, five weeks. Oh, boy. Where is that? Like Willie Loman, whoa, boy. Where? Yeah, those are the first two lines. <laughs> First words of the play, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but it's uh, and, and to that extent, and you know that I'm 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 glad to be able to be here. You know, I mean to tackle such a mm. a difficult piece. It is such a difficult. piece. It's very difficult. I mean, I, I don't mean not intellectually, because no. you see what's happening. But uh, I was saying to Petronia, you know, once you start to sound it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's quite another matter, you know, mm -hmm. uh, emotionally, especially. Mm 